Hi, welcome to M System 9 Supercoupling. Okay, so what we're doing here is having a look at how I have changed a, a, a quality of string theory, which is the predecessor to M theory, and how I flipped it, simulated it, and turned it into something that uh, works in the economics. And at first, the reason I did that was to try and make sense of it to myself. And I'll read it to you now. This was in 2012, Professor Michael Green, one of the founders of String Theory. He says, the notion that this is the smallest constituent, and that's the string, is paradoxically not at odds with the statement it may also be the whole universe. Yeah, I know. It's like way out there. Uh, and it really, really confused me. Um, but there was something in it that I just grasped onto, and I just started, you know. But it, it took four. It took another four years, and I eventually was uh, reading Hawking on my uh, my daily hikes, and um, I, I was thinking about this, and I came up with this idea, and I had to run it down. I got it on this spreadsheet, not this spreadsheet. There's been a few. A few before this one to get there but uh, eventually I saw it I saw how one tiny little string which is smaller than an atom which is an awful lot smaller than an atom could be the entire universe in financial terms and well maybe it's not the smallest thing uh, I, I was starting with my company Villa Secrets and the uh, book the Villa Secret Secret which is an operation manual and business plan and you know look at the website you'll see it's 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 very very good the idea mathematically was that in its third year it could raise 167,000 in profit 167,000 dollars in profit and that was enough to create two new companies that would go on to do the same after two years so every two years it sort of doubles because each of the new companies has that two years, then they create two, and they carry on creating two. But the new ones, you know, so you can you, you can see where it's you can see where it's going. And uh, if we go to the right, and we can see here, here's the time, 2024. Carries on, and at 2075 and 2076, this is where the current system has sh uh, shown where that smallest of the small, that one company that actually, you know, at the moment is making absolutely no money. So it is the smallest of the small, it, you know, um, has grown to make $720 trillion. Whereas the economy growing at a 3% would have been 430 trillion. And most of this would have filtered into this larger figure of 720. Uh, and each year that goes forwards, it pretty much, sorry, every two years that go forwards, it doubles again. So if you miss it at this point, you'll get it at the next one or the one after. Okay, now, this is, this is showing you how that one simple company, one tiny company that at the moment has no income whatsoever, so it is the smallest of the small, can in two years following the business plan, Eventually, if we get it all right, every single thing goes to plan, which of course it won't. We have a much more complex strategy than this. This is just the starting point. Um, and we can see we can see the logic in how that one small company grew and grew and grew and grew and became the entire economy. And by thinking of it in those terms, we can think, OK, yeah, OK. So then we have it. We back here. We're from the notion that this is the smallest constituent is paradoxically not at odds with the statement that it may also be the whole universe has now become simulated to the notion that this is the smallest constituent is paradoxically not at odds with the statement that it also may be the entire economy. Okay, there we go. The green symmetry. Thank you.